So this is episode two, and basically now we're going to talk about motherboards and graphics cards. So basically, when you buy a brand new computer, or you are building a custom computer, or in general you just had a computer that you got and it's got onboard graphics, and you're thinking, you know what, I want to play Apex Gaming or Fortnite or Battlefield or something like that, and you need to buy a graphics card, and you're wondering which slot to put it in. It could be a bit of a, a bit hardcore sometimes, only for people that don't know. And once you know, it's not hardcore anymore. It's pretty simple. Now, I've got the MSI Godlike motherboard here. And I'm going to explain to you what slot you should have a graphics card in. So I've got a graphics card there, the RTX 28, uh, 2060. What is it? RX. Oh, your RTX 2060. That's the one it is. Anyway, so as you can see, there is four PCI slots there. So that means that I could have Crossfire or I could have um, SLI connected up with the graphics cards. Whether it's a 10 series or even a 20 series graphics cards with obviously an SL bridge to connect them up. But we're not going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about how to get the most performance out of your graphics card. Now with some motherboards, which is pretty hard to like do it on this motherboard because it's like a top of the range motherboard. But a normal motherboard, like a B-rated motherboard, would have like a battery there. And um, it's a BIOS battery. It means that when something goes wrong, you take the battery out and it resets all like, um, it's a CMOS reset for your BIOS. And then resets all the things back to default. This one doesn't have it here. So just imagine you've got a battery here, and this is the 16x bus lane PCI for graphics card. And what will happen is, this is the slot that you need to put it in. Most people might put it in... Well, most people should put it in a 16 times bus speed, but they normally put it in an eight times bus speed. And if you put it in an eight times bus speed and you spent like 300 pounds on the graphics card, you're gonna get less than half the performance, which you should just bought a cheaper graphics card or just carry on using your onboard graphics. You need to do things the right way to get the right performance. And the reason that I know this is 16 times and these are eight times, is if I turn around to the back, it's got more soldered bits on the back, which stands for 16 times bus speed, and the rest is at eight. And then the smallest one's at four, but that's not for the graphics card, that's for another PCI lane. So that's how you would know the different types and speeds that you will get from a PCI lane. So if you're looking for a graphics card, or you've already got a graphics card for your custom computer, make sure you take it out the eight slot, which is this one, and put it in this slot, the 16 times bus speed. And I'll guarantee you will get high performance. So if you're looking for high performance in a computer, just follow those one step really, it's not even that many steps, just follow that step and you'll be able to get your proper speed, your frame rates per second, count the going for your games. And also if you're even doing video editing or CAD work or anything like that and you've built a custom computer and you're not even using it for gaming, this will also be for you because technically the CUDA cores work faster in a 16 times lane rather than the eight times lane. It's as simple as that. Put it in the 16 times lane, don't put it in the eight times lane. But if you've got two graphics card, one will go in a 16 times lane, one will go in an eight times lane, and you'll have a SLI bridge to bridge them together, go in the software and connect it up. So if you've got any comments or you want to know anything more, leave it in the comments section down below. And also there's a merch store and everything like that to support this channel, to keep it going afloat. And subscribe, share this video to most people so everyone can get the right information that they need when they have a custom computer or bought a computer even from Argos or Depot in like uh, America, or wherever you bought a computer, just do that. It's just so much easier. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe, share, like, and follow me on all social media networks. And I'll see you in the next one, obviously. Thanks for watching. Roger and out.